Andy and I have done some research on how competition has changed over the past decade or 15 years. And it's quite striking. We find that turbulence has increased in terms of the shifting around between the leaders and the laggards in different industries. Uh, it's harder and harder to stay on top or even to maintain your position at second, third, or fourth place. So that sense that many executives have that we're in a more disruptive world is borne out by the data. We also find that those who win tend to win bigger than ever before. They get even bigger market shares. Uh, their profitability, the gap between the top quartile and the bottom quartile is larger than it was before. Now those characteristics were common in many digital industries like software and internet companies, but what we're finding interestingly is that they're affecting more and more of the economy as really every company becomes a digital company. There are already more digital phone subscriptions than there are people right now on the planet. Most of those phones are very primitive devices. You can't really use it like you'd use a computer or a full-fledged tablet. Wait a couple more years, honestly, just a couple more years, as Moore's Law continues to work its magic. Those devices, are, powerful devices, are going to become so cheap, billions of people are going to have access to them. That makes them more likely to become, uh, to form communities, to become consumers, but most important for our point of view, they are going to join the community of potential innovators around, brains out there who can come up with a real eureka, who can work together to advance our knowledge on things, and who can contribute to this global pool of talent and innovation and energy. We've never ever been there before. The, the number of people who are honestly contributing to solve the world's problems has been largely limited to the Western industrialized, educated elite that's not going to be the case for very much longer. So when I put myself in the shoes of a pretty far future historian and look back, it's impossible for me to believe that they're, that they're not going to say, man, that artificial intelligence was a big deal. And then the, 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 at last, the global interconnection of the world's population, that happened in the early decades of the 21st century. And, and look at everything that that led to.